So for today's video, uh, it's Friday, is it? It's Friday. Um, getting a bit burnt out, to be honest with you. Making a lot of videos lately, as you've probably noticed, uh, two a day. And just feeling a bit burnt out. Yesterday, I wasn't up to filming, so we didn't film anything yesterday. Everything you saw yesterday was filmed the day before. Um, so for us to get two videos on tonight, today, it's... We're still not up to it. Today, I'm alright, but Maz is not up to being on film and stuff, so... Instead, I'm still going to get this video up, and I'm going to throw... Just show you a few things what we're up to. A few things we've got to show you in the future. Um, we have got ideas, we've got some products and things to show you. Some exciting ones. And I might even try... We've got one of these windscreen covers. What's the company called? Silver Screen. Silver Screen. Uh, one of these ready, uh, proper fitting covers for the front to keep the heat in. And it's supposed to be two degrees tonight, so I might try put that on. See how we get on. So the first things I have to talk about is sponsorship. Now, a few weeks ago I wrote to a lot of companies. Don't get me wrong, it was a lot of companies trying to get them to support us on this trip because... There's a lot to pay out, you know, to to kit out a motorhome and to support ourselves on this trip. So I was seeing if I could get some sponsors and in return I will put them on my website and on my app, which I've still got to mention to you as well. I've actually made an app, but uh, that will save for another video. So the first sponsor we have got is for this beauty, Tom Tom uh, Go Camper Satnav System which I've loaded up with all the Scottish places we're going next week. Um, so I'll be doing a proper review on that, but it really needs to wait until we're using it. So that'll be coming up next week when we go to Scotland. And Brit Stops. They've kindly given us free membership for this year. So I'm going to go into detail on that. It's basically um, places you can stay free of charge. You don't have to pay anything. But most of them are like pubs, the Royal Oak for example, the pubs you see, and this is telling us you can get Wi-Fi, you've got to give them a ring before you go, they've got two sparking spaces, you can get rid of your grey waste, tells you if uh, they've got electric and things, and a bit about it. And we have been using a few Brit stops, but uh, I haven't gone into it in too much detail, but I will be doing, I will be doing. Okay, so as plans are, we're at Mazzy's sister's at the moment. We've been here, for, I think this is the fourth night on the trot. Completely outstayed as welcome, but that's what we do. We're good at it. Um, we've made a right mess. We like proper gypsies. There's rubbish all over the garden. Sofas, old tyres, you name it. We've just dumped it all over a garden. But in the t we'll be gone on Tuesday. So by the time she's got an eviction notice and they've put it into action, we'll be gone. So they can't... Can't get us off anywhere, even if they wanted to. So, yeah, on Monday, we've arranged for a second leisure battery to be fitted. A man is actually coming out to us uh, from a garage or something. Can you remember we stayed at Thetford Forest campsite? Well, when we were there, the, the guy, the warden, gave us a card for somebody. And I've sent him pictures and things, and he's going to come out and fit that for us on Monday first thing. So we will charge up the battery on Monday and we'll set off on Tuesday morning up to Scotland. Dumfrieshire for, I don't know, between two and four weeks. That's all I can really say about that. How's that coming on? Um, yeah, that's browned. Doing some onion. What's the difference between a shallot and an onion? Shallots are sweeter. Sweeter? Yeah. Ah. So just coming into the boot, um, Right, this, these products we're very, very excited about. You're going to love this. How do we do as washing? We've bought these from America. Cost a fortune in shipping and customs prices. That is a washing machine, believe it or not, which does not need electricity. And that is... Oh, no, that's the washer. Portable washer. So that's the dryer. And the hand-powered spin cycle. No electric can't wait to do a review on them. 
and last but not least is this baby it's a Paragon um, silver screen I thought silver screen was the name of the company but I was wrong I didn't order them as he did and I believe it's made to measure for this van so I'm gonna try and put that on now I think just see how we get on so I just opened the packaging up a little bit to get the instructions out and things and uh, this is the invoice so if you want to know who they're from that's the address £199 you can tell Mazzy ordered these because if I'd have ordered them they'd have been about £12.99 they probably wouldn't have been as good but uh, they would have been a lot cheaper so yeah this is the kind of thing we're, we're after they're made to measure for the uh, Fiat it says on there somewhere yeah, for a 2013 Ducato, they're made to measure for this, so hopefully I can do this. A beer in background again. Every time I'm filming, I've got a beer in background. I'm going to have to cut that out. What do you mean a Ducato? A no. Ducato, that's what the front cab of it is I called. It was a Fiat. Yeah, Fiat Ducato. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> you got me panicking then. So this does come with some instructions. But I don't think we really need them, it's just a cover going on a van. How hard can it be, really? Let's do this. I'm guessing... Two minutes. Maybe three minutes. Okay, it's not perfect. It's on. It's on. It won't come off. Um, but some of the vel I have to do some things with velcros. I have to tie something around the windscreen wipers. But you get the gist. That's what it's going to look like. That's going to keep us warm in winter. It's going to keep us cool in summer. And it's going to keep us windscreen uh, dry all the time. That is the idea. Do you like it? So this is as well as I'm going to be able to do it. I've gone through the instructions. What you're supposed to do is actually lift these up before you put it on. And then you start with one door, put it behind the door and then work it round to the other door and put it round. Um, this is just a bit of added extra to keep it secure. You know, I suppose if it's windy it's going to stop it flapping around. And yeah, you do get these Velcro bits and it's something to do with the mirrors. I don't think we need them. That looks fine. And then it's also got these loops here, which I really don't know what they're supposed to be for. If anyone knows, please do put a comment. I'd like to know. But yeah, that's all right. I don't need to do anything with that, do I? If I've done anything wrong, guys, please let me know. But I'm, I'm happy with that job. And it comes with a nice little bag to put them in when you've finished. Or just don't bother and use that as a washing bag. It'll do for either. But here's what I was saying, look. Um, these optional extras it's talking about securing it under your mirror or something i don't think i need it on this model it doesn't seem to need it and then this is uh, putting it around the windscreen wipers but then option optional securing loop where are you meant to loop it to there's nothing to loop it to don't understand that bit but yeah that is the end of them our beautiful silver screen protectors Woohoohoo! So I have got one more job to do today guys, uh, I need to just fit this Tom Tom somewhere securely in the cab. Now I did try putting it where the rear view mirror would go but it just kept falling off. So I'm thinking probably on top of here, or maybe there, that's where my phone goes, probably there. Yeah that might do, that might do. So this is the box the Tom Tom Go Camper came in. And it came wrapped really beautifully. Look at this for the personal touch. Hi Dan and Mazzy. 
there's a Briton out there to discover. Good luck on your journey ahead. And it was wrapped in a little bow. I thought it was really nice of them. So yeah, I'm going to try and fix this on now. Um, this is what I used before. They stick on the window. But it just kept coming off. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I will have it on the window sill. Still. But if not, I've, I have got that for the dashboard. So I think I'm going to have it there for now, actually. Because I would rather have it on the window than on the dash. Because you, then you have to use a very strong, sticky thing. Be better on the window. And I do know these things can stick on a window. Because I've done it here with my phone. It's really, really good. The, this... Uh, sucker thing they're really good at them if you ever want to get something to hold your phone but i did have it here and i think it's because that of that it's it's smooth but it's not glass if you know what i mean just there so i think it was coming off because of that so for now i'm gonna have it up there i don't think that uh, blocks my view at all that will do and as i say i'm gonna do a proper good review on this tom tom it's just going to take time. I have got so many things to review, so many things to do in the van, so many things to get ready for his trip, so it will come. And we've just been told that we ordered a key, you know, for uh, waste disposal points for your toilet. Apparently, some people have told us you can get, you can do it along the canals and riverways. There is some points there where you can do it, but you need a key. So we've ordered a key from the Canal and River Trust and that's just been dispatched so we will have a key for that. That's another option for emptying us toilet. And yeah, I've mentioned that we've got an app which I will be explaining in far more detail in a separate video. We've got a shop selling us own products. We will be making a separate video on that very, very shortly. There's so many things to tell you but they're all separate videos, you know. Uh, we're just waiting for some products for ourselves to then sh be wearing and show you and then we'll tell you all about the shop. One thing I will be looking at tomorrow hopefully is this. Just found this in this cupboard, didn't even know it was there. Still don't know what it is. Um, the TV aerial is up here on the roof. It's obviously something to do with that. I'm hoping it's something to do with the reversing camera as well. I don't know. Need to go into that, but if I thought I'd throw this in this video now because if anybody knows, if anyone knows anything about that, please do leave a comment. It's obviously your aerial, it says so up there, but we've got a television at the moment, it's plugged in, but it's not working. We've not really tried to get it working because we're not big on watching TV in the lounge area. Um, but yeah, that's going to be another little venture of mine in the next few days. So that television is here, we've not even tried to put it on, we'll be honest with you. Um, and we have got another television, but we haven't got a bracket to put it on, which I'm guessing would have to go up here, because that's the television point. I don't know how we'd fit that on, no idea. But, as I say, there is a television, a 12 volt, or battery, I don't, I'm not sure what it is till it comes, but we have like a little mini television which we can certainly plug into that and hopefully watch that. So we'll be doing a review on that when it turns up. And because we're professionals, we've even had our own business cards made up. We're sharing, we're sharing, we haven't got separate ones. Look, it's got both of us names on there. And as you can see, if you look closely, it's got his PO box on there. I mentioned it the other day, so if anyone wants to send us any parcels or letters or postcards, please do, and we'll do unboxings on his videos. But there's the P.O. box on there, um, as website. What else is that? Oh, and there's email. And on the other side, you've got all the social media links. It's just so we can give them out to people. You know, when uh, when we're filming things, we get a lot of people coming up asking what we're doing, and we can just explain and say, there's the addresses, check us out. So, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining. Um, hopefully back tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be two videos, but you certainly you should still get a video tomorrow. Would you like to say a very quick goodbye, Mazzy? Bye. That's all you're getting. Right, see you all later, guys. Bye-bye. Lovely to see you all again.